What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, I want to talk about a little bit about the two types of scooters that we have. We have small city scooters like I have, like the ST200 and then we have big maxi scooters which are really good for long distance road trips. But you know, sometimes I just wish there was like a happy medium between something with an upright riding position and the possibility to put a big windscreen on a big top case on a flat floor or maybe somewhere with your legs right beneath you with the big 16 inch wheels and uh, something with the power the engine of something like the cruise sim 300 it would be just so nice if somebody would actually make a scooter that looks like this one but maybe it's a little bit bigger so you can have a little bit of extra comfort on long distance road trips with the engine from the cruise sim but also the compactness of the ST so it's good through traffic the high ride, riding position so you can see above cars wouldn't it be awesome if somebody would just make I don't know like an ST200 with the engine of the cruise sim that would be just, that would be so awesome if somebody would make something like that. Oh. Let's talk about what I consider to be a bit of a crown jewel in Sims lineup. Sure, you have the big Max Sims, the 400 and 500, that's top of the range. You have the Cruise Sim, that's the Cruiser, and you have your city scooters down below, the 200s, the 125s, the Jet, the Symphony, the Fiddle, all those. The HD is, it's rather a bit special because as a scooter, it's, it's not based on anything, to be honest. It doesn't share in terms of frame doesn't share anything with any other scooter sure it looks like a symphony with the big 16 inch wheels but the frame is completely different from that of a symphony but then again it shares nothing with the cruise sim apart from the drivetrain and that's very important because that means this is a scooter that is just as good in the city as a symphony but it's also just as good as keeping highway speeds as a cruise sim so you get the best of both worlds and if you want weather protection like you do like you have on a cruise sim for long distance trips just put a big windscreen on it you can get a medium size you can get a tall windscreen like i have on my st there are a lot of options plus you have large undersea storage as we're about to see and you also get a factory top case with a gv mono key system so you can actually take this off and put some kind of off-road outback type of adventure box on it and all this for a price that's almost a thousand euros cheaper than the cruise sim so it does just about everything that the cruise sim does but it's a thousand euros cheaper and it's better in the city so let's take a look at it as we usually do from front wheel to back wheel and then we're gonna ride around a bit and see how it rides. Let's get into it. Starting off with the front, we have our LED headlight, high and low beam are LED. We have our LED daytime running lights. I don't know if you can see them in this light, but they're a bit of LED strips right here. We have our turn signal indicators, which are halogen. Like on my ST, the turn signal indicators are the only thing that's halogen on this scooter. Uh, also, like I said, big 16 inch wheel single disc up front with a dual piston caliper it's the same caliper you get on my st you get on the cruise sim it's very similar what is interesting here is because it has the same drivetrain as the cruise sim the euro 5 model inherited the same traction control system as on the cruise sim 
ABS it had before on the Euro 4 model, but on the Euro 5, because the cruise sim was updated to have traction control, the HD automatic, automatically got traction control as well. Moving around to the side, we have our side stand, we have our center stand, all as well as scooters go. We have our fuel tank right here. It's a 10 liter fuel tank. It's a little bit smaller than that of the cruise sim because this is a mixed use scooter, long distance and city use. We also have a glove box here. It's pretty small. It has a USB charging port, but you won't be fitting any phones in here. And the battery is right here. The seat, the seat is very, very nicely sculpted for the rider. That's the interesting part because it's comfortable for the city. It's a bit taller than that of the cruise sim, so you have a better view over the cars. But then you have this area here that really supports your back really nicely. And also the passenger. We have the passenger foot pegs which are hidden here. And the passenger has a very soft and squishy and huge area for the seat. The nice part about the HD is like I've said, the lumbar support right here from the seat and the fact that the handlebars are a little bit taller compared to my Symphony. My Symphony would be somewhere around here. This is a couple of centimeters higher and it feels wonderful. The dash is angled towards you. You have plenty of leg room. I mean, you can keep your legs here like a normal riding position or you can put them out like here. I have a lot of leg room and it's extremely comfortable. Sure, you don't have a flat floor, but this part this part right here is pretty flat and you can still put a shopping bag right here. You have, you also have a luggage hook. You can still make it work. Even though it doesn't have a flat floor, it's flat enough that you can actually make it work. Plus, we also get this 50 liter factory included top case and the key from the ignition, of course, works to open the top case. It's a GV top case in case you were wondering. Moving around to the back, we have our LED lights, both position lights and brake lights are LED, halogen light bulb, halogen indicators, the same 278cc 26 brake horsepower engine that you get on the cruise sim with the ABS, with the traction control, everything that's electronic on this scooter is the same as the cruise sim. And also single disc out back with a single piston caliper and again, a big 16 inch wheel so it has a square stance with 16 on the front 16 on the back under seat storage is decent it's smaller than it is on the cruise sim but larger than it is on the symphony it's not very tall to be honest but here here on the underneath the seat you have a cutout for the helmet so you can actually put one full face helmet right here in this cutout and in the cutout of the seat. So you can actually put a helmet underneath the seat and you still have this front part for storage. Plus you get the big top case on the back. Moving around to the dashboard, we have our engine kill switch, which doubles as a TCS on and off for switch for the traction control system. You can turn it on and off. We have our start button, brake levers, mirrors. On the left side, our horn, our indicators, high and low beam, and passing light. On the dashboard itself, we have a fuel level indicator, we have our RPM gauge, idiot lights, and our speedometer bright smack dab in the middle, big and very easy to read. Moving around to the digital display, we have a clock, and we can switch to a voltmeter, we can switch to a Celsius thermometer, and a Fahrenheit thermometer. And on the right hand side, we have our TCS light, in case the system is on or off. We have our trip meter and our oil meter. On the bottom, we have our engine water temperature indicator. A pretty complete dash with just about any information you can want. And to be honest, the HD300 is the is the single scooter from sim that has an outside temperature gauge which is actually pretty interesting considering that i actually put an aftermarket temperature gauge on my st because i wanted to see the outside temperature as i ride this one you don't have to add anything it's built in so who is this scooter for well like i've said it's a mix between city scooter and maxi scooter this is for the person who 
every day from Monday to Friday rides through the city to work, to do errands, covers a lot of distance through the city, but also on the weekends wants to go on long distance road trips and wants to be comfortable and doesn't want to feel like he's being held back by the scooter that he has. Like I've said, riding position is that of a scooter. Normal upright position, you can put a big windscreen in front of you, all's good. But because the seat is so sculpted, you can actually lay yourself a bit back on the support you have back here and it's much more comfortable. Plus, in terms of seat height, it's a bit taller than it is on the cruise sim. But I'm 175 centimeters tall, so uh, I can almost flat foot this thing. And the weight is very down low. It's very easy to keep upright. It's not more difficult than my Symphony ST is. So if you can ride a Symphony ST, you can ride an HD. But the nice part is the handlebars. The handlebars are tall. They're right here. They're right where you'd expect them. The dash is right here. It's right in front of you. You look forward, the dash is right in your, li in your line of sight. It's a very interesting proposition for Sim. It's basically an all scooter for all men and women. But without any further ado, let's see how this thing feels on the road. Come on. Alrighty, riding the HD 300. First impression, it's exactly what you would expect it to be. It's a bigger version of the ST. I feel just as, as comfortable or as home as I feel on my ST because the big 16 inch wheels have uh, given the same characteristics and the same feeling when you put it into a corner as the ST. Sure it feels a little bit heavier than the ST does but it's not much in it. I mean jumping from the ST onto this one totally feel at home. I mean, it's so confidence inspiring for somebody that's used to the platform. It, <laughs> I don't know, it just feels wonderful. If you're used to something with big wheels like the ST is, this will feel right at home with this one. But uh, what isn't similar to the ST is the engine. As soon as you get on the power, it picks up it picks up beautifully now this thing is a little bit lighter than uh, than the cruise sim is so uh, it does feel the power does feel a little bit more immediate the punch is a little bit more punchier than it is on the uh, on the cruise sim the cruise sim feels a little bit big it feels like what it should be. It's a touring scooter. It's a scooter meant for long distance trips. But this one, this is made for carving up city streets and going between cars and carving city traffic. This is meant to get you to work and back quickly. You can get a little bit carried away with it, but in case something bad happens, you have ABS. And uh, in case you're too throttle happy... Did you hear that? That was traction control raining in the power because we are on gravel. See? And ABS slowing me down. Tight riding circle and punch it. Let the traction control do its thing. Such an easy scooter to ride. I mean, like here. Like, give it the beans! Nope! No back wheel slippage, no nothing. It just holds its line, traction control, reins in the power. When you're on the brakes, the ABS take, takes care of the brakes. It gives you so much confidence, it's amazing. <laughs> Our little yard dog. The man from the gates taking him for a walk as he does on every weekend. <laughs> so coming back to the DHD. 
in terms of riding position you have a lot of leg room and actually the seat feels maybe just a little bit lower than it does on the ST or maybe it's the handlebars being so high but somehow it feels good you feel like you sit inside the scooter you don't feel like on my ST on my ST if you want to have the feeling of inside the scooter you have to put a windscreen on it this thing with the tall handlebars and the dash right here up towards you it feels like you are sitting inside it i don't know how to explain it but it feels like i'm inside the scooter like i'm hunkered down inside it and uh, also another big thing for uh, city riding is the turning radius i mean look at this full lock that's it let's slow it down full lock you basically need just one lane of space to turn this thing around it's so easy to maneuver so easy to turn around just slow it down turn it around and punch it such an easy scooter to to have fun with and to maneuver around city streets <laughs> the engine feels pokey the scooter feels light in your hands i know it's almost 200 kilograms but god damn it it doesn't feel like it's 200 kilograms so nice in the hands i'm maneuvering it around these potholes like it's nothing like it's some kind of 125 cc <laughs> absolutely amazing I don't know it's the weight distribution it's the power it's everything is in perfect balance that's the interesting part about the HD everything is in perfect balance and it feels so good you can lead it in you can punch the power absolutely awesome so it, if you're looking for something that's cheaper than a cruise sim that does everything that a cruise sim can do long distance wise but you're not content with something with just 12 horsepower like the st has with either in 125 or 200 cc form it still has 12 horsepower if you want that extra little bit of power if you want the top case if you want the 16 inch wheels but take a look at this one i know sure i know you have the piaggio beverly out there yes this is a contender for the beverly but this is a lot cheaper it's a lot cheaper than the beverly just think you already have a big 50 liter top case on the back all you need is a windscreen that's all you need and that's it windscreen heated grips this is a touring bike but also a bike that gets you to work and back without any kind of fuss it's just awesome so that has that kind of has been it for the hd 300 i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you like and subscribe and uh, if you want to support the channel please consider becoming a member of the channel because i have opened up memberships members do get access to special posts member only posts uh, i will have some member only videos like small vlog short videos members get a little bit more interaction from me but until next time guys thank you so very much for watching and supporting the channel liking the videos and subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care out there and ride safe goodbye